What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we're doing a new type of video for our channel and we're going to do some theories about the 1.19 and 1.20 update for Minecraft. Of course, these have not been announced yet and we're really just theorizing what they really could be. We do have some pretty good ideas and a lot of evidence to show. So stick around for this video and comment down below what you think these updates are going to be. Of course, these features are not announced and likely will be later this year at the Minecon event in Orlando, Florida, if that happens due to COVID. So there's really two big ideas of what the 1.19 update could be. And the first one is of course an end update. So that's why we're starting off here in the end and fighting the Ender Dragon. But that's not the update that I think it's gonna be. So we're gonna start off with what I really think it's gonna be and then we'll go over and talk about the end update and when that's gonna come. So let's talk about the 1.18 update that's coming out later this year. This is really the building block of what the future updates are going to be because this is such a major update. This is one of the largest updates to the game because not only is it changing the overall world generation of Minecraft, but it is also changing even some small mob factors including the light levels and things that they can spawn at and a lot more. So this is obviously going to be a huge update to the game that's going to require a lot of performance boosts. So I really think that 1.19 is going to have to be a performance update but it's obviously going to come out with a load of new features as well, but these features are going to be smaller and not anything like changing the entire in dimension. So my best bet for what 1.19 is really going to be is the archaeology update. So of course, the excavations they were talked about in the Minecon event in 2020, but they were supposed to be in the 1.17 update. Of course, things got delayed and a lot of things postponed, and here we are in the 1.18 update snapshots, and we're really not looking at getting archaeology anytime soon. There's just too much to add in 1.18, so it's unlikely that we're really going to get it. So 1.19 is really our best bet for getting the archaeology update if we ever do get it at all. But I think it would be the perfect time for Mojang to go ahead and update some of the biomes in the overworld while also adding some performance updates for 1.18. Of course they're going to get it to perform as best as possible in the 1.18 release, but I think some minor changes will have to come later on to really help people out considering the new world generation. Of course 1.19 would be the perfect time to release both the performance and the archaeology update which would pretty much update all the biomes across the overworld. A lot of people would like a desert update or a swamp update and a lot of updates for the biomes that don't really have a lot going on and I think archaeology is the best way to do that for all biomes. By creating unique archaeology sites for each biome, it would really add a lot to the game and also give a lot more to each biome. You could have different sites in different biomes where you're finding different uh, things in the ground and I think it would really come together as a well put together update and bring a lot to the game. And a lot of people might say that this is too small for an entire update, but if we look back across the list of Mojang's updates, uh, especially the Buzzy Bees update for 1.15, you know, this is really going to be the same size as that, and it doesn't have to be a crazy big update like we've gotten recently with the 1.17, 1.16, and even 1.18 updates. I also think they really need to focus on a small update before they do another major update because this would give their staff a lot of time in order to perfect what they want to do in the future, which is very likely an in dimension update. So now let's go ahead and talk about the in dimension update, which will likely be 1.20 or maybe even 1.19 if we're really lucky. An in dimension update is likely going to come with a lot of different features, one of which will likely be a stronghold update. Uh, in my opinion, strongholds are kind of very simple, they don't have a lot going on to them, and I think they could use a few minor tweaks that could really make them a lot better. I currently love the way of finding them, having to get Eyes of Ender and following them. I don't think any of that's going to change anytime soon, but some of the changes we might see are what the actual strongholds hold. I think we're likely to get a few more spawners inside of them and a few other things to make them a little more difficult and a little harder to get to the portal. The next thing that of course would have to change is the actual ender dragon fight. And this one actually has a lot of possibilities for change. For evidence of this, we have to look to the developers of Minecraft and see what they're really working on and what they think they need to change in Minecraft to make it a more enjoyable game. 
Of course, the Ender Dragon fight is one of those changes that some of the developers think they need to change. One of those developers is King B Dogs, who is actually the creator of the Aether mod who was hired at Mojang. We can look back at his Twitter and see some of the reasons why he thinks the Ender Dragon fight needs to change in order to make the game more appealing. Back in February of this year, King B Dogs tweeted out a tweet talking about the Ender Dragon fight. He even said that he's only beaten the dragon once and a lot of people haven't beaten the dragon at all. He talks about is it because it's too boring or maybe because it's too hard and he thinks that it's not engaging enough and there's not enough reward to want to overcome the challenge. He states that it's not fun enough to redo and of course that could just be an opinion of his and doesn't actually end up being a change to the game but I think if they're going to do a change to the end dimension they might as well change up the actual ender dragon fight as well in order to make some changes to how people actually go and fight the dragon. He tweets out saying that one of his biggest takeaways is actually the fight itself should be as rewarding as finding any of the loot uh, past the boss. Of course, there are a few different ways that they could go about doing this and who knows what they'll actually end up doing, if anything at all, but they definitely will be looking into changing the Ender Dragon fight somewhat. He finishes off this series of tweets by saying players can and will be a cool boss even as no tangible in-game reward, because bosses should and can be extremely entertaining. And of course, a lot of people take glory in beating the Ender Dragon, but in reality, it's not as challenging or as entertaining as a lot of people make it out to be. For example, if we skip ahead in this fight and we get to this part where he's just flying above the portal, all you have to do is jump and hit his neck and you're really not really doing anything. He's not attacking you. It's very easy to get into this position once you know how, as long as you don't hit the wings. And it really makes it a very easy and not engaging fight. So I think things like that really need to change before we're going to see a lot more people fighting the inner dragon. The easiest way to change up this fight and make it a bit more appealing would just be to add in dimension biomes. And when I say this I mean even the main island where the dragon is has to have some sort of biome and that would add a lot of change and difference to the fight. Every time you enter the end you might be in one of you know, five biomes and you have to adjust your fight to those biomes. I think that would add a lot of difference to the fight and make it a bit more appealing in itself. Uh, the fact that you come into the end dimension every time and it is exactly the same is what I think gets a lot of people. That's why nobody wants to go back and beat it again, but by adding biomes it would make it a lot more appealing and make you actually want to try again and see if you can do it in every single biome. There could even be an achievement for that as well. So I think these are some very possible things that we can look at in the future, but who really knows what we're going to get. This is likely not going to be the 1.19 update, as I think it is still too large, but I think they may still announce it at Minecon this year, and we may see it maybe later next year or the year after. Of course, the end island cannot be the only thing that changes. Everything in the end has to change, and that's going to of course go to the outer islands as well. That's where we're going to see biomes of course spawn there as well, and I think those could be absolutely incredible. Out in the outer islands, other than if you find five, maybe six boats in a single area, there's really not a lot happening. This is pretty much the coolest thing you'll see in the outer islands, is all these boats together. They all look the same and it's kind of unappealing. So I think adding biomes to especially the outer islands is one of the next big things that Mojang is going to do, especially since they've done a lot in the overworld and nether recently. The end has to come very soon. If you've seen any of the mods that have added biomes to the end dimension, you'll know that they look crazy cool and there's definitely a lot of possibilities for what you could do. There's a lot of blocks that they could add and I think we're going to see some pretty major changes to the end dimension very soon. The end cities of course will very likely stay the same. I love the design and the way you have to work through them. They're not going to change anytime soon, but the islands themselves will probably have some more biomes and some more things to work through in the coming years. That is all that we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit like on this video. And if you have any other ideas of what the next update could be, definitely leave it in the comment section down below. I'm very excited to read some of your ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.